Now, um, when I told my readers that I was going to the giver press junket, and everybody was like, "Yeah, that's my childhood favorite book," and then, and there, you know, we know that fans of the books are sometimes can, can be critical. They, they 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 have this picture or image in their minds of who should play this favorite character or of theirs. So even you, Jeff, pictured you know the great Lloyd in, in the role. So um, at the start of the production, I mean, has it always been well received about the, your choice of cast here, or was there some backlash? It was tough for me, you know, I I. Um wanting to uh, direct it myself I had a certain vision of how it would go and I really was in love with the book and I wanted to you know really give a uh, um, you know I wanted to put the book up on screen exactly how it was and uh, and then as I got closer to um, the movie being I could start, it was actually going to be made and I had a decision whether I was going to come on board and play the giver or if I was just going to say you know bon voyage guys best of luck you know but I'm not going to join you. And uh, I thought about that. Uh, often what I do when I come to those crossroads in my life, I th try to project myself into the future and think, you know, how am I going to feel if I let this one go or like <laughs> engage, you know? And I felt just terrible letting this thing go. So I decided to do um, kind of an experiment on myself and just say, just go for it and, uh, you know, dance with uh, the universe, you know, look at all these different... Um, you know, you have got Harvey Weinstein and Walden. Look, you know, look at the movies that have come out of their oven. You know, and just uh, you know, I use this word again, but it kind of it comes to mind here. Jam. You know, have a have a jam session with. And look at all the artists that came in, and then kind of give up um, your idea of control. You know, which in a way is a theme of the movie. You know, just um, uh, dance with this thing. And I'm so glad I. Uh, did that it made that choice because it uh, kind of transcended all of my expectations and my ideas you know one of the things I was most concerned about was the age of uh, Breton and Odea's character you know uh, and I you know I you know struggled with letting that go but I finally did and then when these guys showed up I said oh I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I let that go because they were so you know that first shot of Breton you know look riding that bike and looking up at those trees you think oh this is uh, you know a guy who's um, you know at the cresting of his life you know it's just you know it was perfect and Britain came up with an interesting thing he said the other day you were saying uh, you know it's a ceremony of 12 in the book and he said, well, that could be the ceremony of the 12th grade, you know. And he, he's, you know, young enough to pass for a, you know, a 12th grader, you know. Uh, so I think, it, you know, it worked, it worked really well. Now, I had heard that you actually shot a version of this film with your dad. That's true. Um, is there any way that could be on the DVD? You know, <laughs> Bo's son, Casey Bridges, uh, shot was our DP on that uh, particular session in my parents' house. And we read the whole book. Uh, Bud Court uh, was the narrator. This is like 18 years ago. Bud read the, the you know, the, all the narration in the book, and we have this uh, DVD, or no, it wasn't a DVD, I don't know what, but it was a Betamax or something, you know, <laughs> and we have this in some garage, and Casey, you know, tells me he's got it, and so hopefully that'll be, uh, you know, something on the DVD or something like that. <laughs> but but uh, this movie, I, I this is... Uh, a one-of-a-kind experience for me. I've never uh, had that kind of um, uh, you know, passion or intention for a project, for you know, holding it for 18 years. So it's very gratifying to see it finally come to fruition here. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. As the person who's sat with this the longest, Lois, what was it like for you to finally see it on the big screen? 